I guess this is a vlog. I didn't really intend to do vlogs on Pink Proof, but um, I think this is going to be a bit special. So I'm driving to Snowdonia National Park in Wales. Um, I'm going to be running, I guess, the southern half, some of the southern half of it. Um, why? Why am I doing that? Well, hey, rewind noises. Actually, an idea cooked by Paul Larkins, the um, editor at Trail Room magazine. Hey, Paul. Um, and the idea is with all these COVID cancelled races, um, to, to race, to, to run one anyway. So, um, sort of cooked up this idea that I would run the cancelled race across Snowdonia race uh, with the race organiser, Mike Jones, Michael Jones, Mr. Jones. Um, so we're going to do that in about three weeks and this is like a recce run. Um, should be pretty pretty beautiful, although the clag is down a little bit at the moment, but hopefully it's going to... So Race Across Snowdonia is, is a two-day mountain race. Um, it's pretty epic, um, it's 125 k total. So day one is 60 kilometers, day two is 65. I think there's nearly 4,000 meters of ascent each day. Um, so although this is a fairly short recce run, it's probably 30 kilometers, nearly a couple of thousand meters of ascent. So essentially we're doing the first half of day two. This will end up as an article in Trail Running Magazine and uh, Paul asked us to sort of concentrate on a couple of brands which makes sense for that sort of article. For the clothing, um, it's all going to be Montaigne. That's pretty easy for me because I've, I've got loads of Montaigne gear. They can send me a new, this new top and a hat. Thanks Montaigne. The best pack is the Fang 5. Um, that's, I really like that. It's um, sort of a no-nonsense. It's a really solid performer. Also they have these um, Velcro straps across the tummy which feel like they just give you a hug. And the other brand for shoes is La Sportiva. I've never ran in La Sportiva shoes. Not quite sure how I've never got around to that. I certainly see a lot of um, uh, mutants on people's feet around the Peak District. Obviously quite a good um, L shoe. So I've been training a bit in the Captiva, which is quite a racy, firm EVA midsole shoe. Um, should be good on rocky mountainous stuff. Uh, then got the Jackal, which I th I'm thinking that perhaps me and Mike will be running in today. Um, a little bit on how wet it's been. Um, they're kind of a similar shoe except a much more um, soft midsole, higher stack, uh, more of an ultra shoe. And then the third pair of last ball team that I've got are the Mutants, which if it's been really uh, soggy recently here in soggy Wales, um, then the Mutants will be the way to go. Out of those three pairs of shoes, I can confirm that the Captiva are the best driving shoes. So I'm off to meet Mike um, and we're going to have a cool run. Hopefully get some good footage. Yep. I need to do a mic check. So, Mr. Jones, Hello. are you a mic or a Michael? <laughs> well, 
that was an epic adventure. Can't get to plan. It was a lot of fun, um, but whoa, yeah. Um, three schoolboy errors. Firstly, the last Sportiva um, Captiva. Um, yeah, I mean I've enjoyed them in the, in the Peak District in some on some dry days. Didn't work in Snowdonia when it didn't stop raining the whole day. Completely my fault. I'd got the mutants, which would have been perfect, I'm sure. Uh, the other one, I, I had this um, Montane fleet, would have been perfect, but I chose the uh, podium, um, which is like a super lightweight race day. It's fine actually because it was warm, not a problem. But the main school boy era. Um, was um, so we'd taken my car to the end and then driven the other two cars back to the start and then we ran to so running towards my car got about halfway and realized that I had not got the keys with the car so um, yeah my mate Richard had to, um, to peel off and go a different route back to the start there <laughs> so it was um, 35 kilometers over 2,000 meters of ascent, fog, just raining the entire time, totally bonked, ran out of food. Oh, that's another school boy error. Not enough food, not enough water. And that was half of one day of a, of a two day thing. Um, but it was good fun, good fun.